Hi everybody, I just wanted to share some really brilliant news with you. Um, we've talked a little bit about mindfulness recently um, on the page and I think I mentioned to some people um, at the drop-in or something that I had applied for some funding from the Mindfulness Association who I've trained with to do an eight-week course just for parent space. And I'm just absolutely overwhelmed and delighted to say that I've been given the funding to go ahead and do that. So um, I'm going to be opening applications for that. It's, it's going to have to be on a first come, first served basis. There will be a maximum of 12 places um, and it'll take place probably on Zoom. Um, the day and the time we can work out between us as to what will suit you guys and me best. I can be pretty flexible about it, um, so we'll work it out between us what would suit everybody the best. In When you do it in real life, over a course of eight weeks, each week is normally a two-hour session. But if that's too long, we can maybe try and work it out so we just do an hour at a time or something like that. So again, we'll work that out between us. Whoever ends up you know, being the group of 12 people, We'll work that out between us. If you're not very sure what mindfulness is and if it's for you or not, I thought I might just do a little, what's called a three minute breathing space right now, right here. So you can check it out. Um, this will be recorded. So if you're not able to do it right now, you'll be able to go back and do it later. But I thought that might just give you a wee bit of a taster to, um, to see the kind of thing that we'll be doing. So I'll just go into that just now um, and show you that it's dead easy. You can do it anyway. I'm sitting out in my garden right now because it's such a gorgeous day. You don't need to have any special equipment. You don't need to have anything really at all. You can do it anywhere, anytime. For the sake of the course, because there will be some teaching involved, I'll be doing a bit of talking and teaching and we'll be doing a lot of practicing together. You probably do need a space in your house or your car anywhere and um, where you can be comfortable and undisturbed that's that's possibly going to be the most difficult thing i think for some of you to have a space where you'll not be disturbed for for an hour or if we can do the full two hours for two hours i know that's going to be tricky so we'll work we'll work around that but um let's just do this three minutes together okay and this will give you a sense of um what it's like so usually it's helpful if you can sit upright. You don't have to, you can make yourself comfortable, but if you're, if you're slouched or lying down, you're gonna probably fall asleep. So to give ourselves the best chance of not falling asleep, it's best to sit up nice and straight, feet flat on the floor, have a nice straight back. So not kind of leaning back against your chair, not slumped over here. <laughs> Sitting up nice and straight with a nice straight back, nice and tall. And, and your head nice, you know, straight up on top of your neck and um, it's normally talked about as being a sort of dignified elegant posture i wouldn't dare to claim i was dignified and elegant but sitting up tall and straight and solid kind of like a mountain just sitting solid like a mountain if you want to have your eyes closed you can if you want to keep them open just try and have them sort of gazing downwards a little bit like i'm doing just now um, and that just means that you're not distracted by anything else that's going on round about you and you can Put your full focus on your practice okay so three minutes this is literally three minutes we start by just tuning in to what's around us and what's going on for us at the minute so that might be physical sensations we're aware of in the body it might be any thoughts that are around in our minds. It might be any feelings or emotions that we've got just now. And we just pay attention to them in terms of noticing that they're here, but not getting caught up in them. So we might notice that we're having a thought about can't believe she said that what a bitch I cannot believe she said that and it would be really easy to follow that train of thought but seeing if it's possible to just acknowledge that the thoughts here and just let it be here without getting caught up in it
wonder and seeing if it's possible to change the focus of our attention for the second minute away from the thoughts and the feelings and any body sensations just to the breath so see if it's possible to notice where the breath is in the body usually it's most noticeable in the rise and fall of the stomach or the chest you can put your hand there if you want to to feel that and we're not trying to change the breath we're not doing anything to it we're just noticing it maybe taking a couple of deeper breaths you can maybe count to three or four on the in breath and the same again on the out breath So making those breaths a little bit longer. 